Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Botev Plovdiv. We are now into September, right at the end of September as well. Things have happened in the league table. We haven't done badly. Problem is, everyone else around us also hasn't done badly. You can see there, the top five teams in the league are the Levski, CSK, Sofia, Botev Plovdiv and Slavia Sofia, all within one point of each other. So Slavia Sofia 17, we're on 18 along with CSK Sofia, Levski and Arda top of the table with just 19 points. Before we talk too much about the fixtures that have taken place, we've also done some transfer business. Jude Anike, maybe, has signed from someone, Wari Wolves, whoever they are. I want to say they're a Nigerian side. He basically, he came through my scouting system. They said he's really good to sign. He was out of contract, so he went, go for it. He wasn't out of contract straight away. He was out of contract in January, like the 1st of January. So we did have to pay £97,000 for him, which sounds like a lot of money. I think he's a good player. He's got some very good technical stats for a, an advanced forward. He's not the best mentally. Physically, he's also pretty good as well. Can't pass. Work rate's pretty bad, but I think he's okay. He might score us some goals. The last time we met then was way back on the 28th of August, so we've actually done one entire month, and we played three league games, and then a Europa League game, and a Bulgarian Cup first round. First up in the league, a 1-0 victory against Bero Milko Georgiev, yeah, Georgiev, that guy, with the Europa League goal and the only goal of the game giving us three points here. Then against Ludogorets, a very tough game here, a 93rd minute equaliser giving us a single point thanks to a 2-2 draw. Antonio Vutov and Vasil Shopov with the goals for us. Then against SK Rapid Vienna, our first Europa League group game, we didn't do terribly well. The scoreline makes it look like we were close. We got lucky with our two goals. We had about three or four shots on target. They had about 12. We lose 3-2. Antonio Vutov, though, with both the goals for us. Slavia Sofia, 0-0 draw here. This is why we've dropped down the table. A 0-0 draw here, 2-2 draw against Ludogorets. We basically haven't won now for two league games. And then in the Bulgarian Cup first round, we played a very rotated side against... Dobruja 1919, a 5-2 victory here. We conceded two goals in the first half. I don't know how we did it. They then went down to 10 men and we just kind of coasted the second half, getting just the one goal. Jakub Moda, the Polish man on loan from Lech Poznan with one of the goals. Vasil Shopov getting himself a hat-trick and the returning Abu Aguilar with a goal from the penalty spot in his first appearance for us so far. I don't believe he's registered in our actual squad though. Today, then, there is going to be two matches. First of all, in the Bulgarian League, it's going to be up against Botev Vratsa, maybe. And then, in the Europa League, we're going to be up against Olympiakos. I can't see us doing very well in our group because of the match against Rapid Vienna. I feel like if we don't get anything here, we may as well just write off the Europa League in our first season. Now, it is still early on in the season, so we don't really need to pay too much attention to what's going on around us. We just need to keep winning games. We've only lost one of our nine so far. We have drawn three, though, which is basically the problem we're having, because Arda and Levski have just lost. They've lost two games, but only drawn one apiece. Slavia Sofia, somehow down in fifth place, yet to lose a game, but drawn five. The starting lineup then for the match against Botev Vratsa, the Botev derby, I guess. It's going to be Alan Sherry in goal. Jonathan, Radoslav Terzhev and Boshniewicz is going to be the two central defenders with Lazar Marin on that left-hand side. Lashazar Kotev will be that deep-lying playmaker with Baltanov, who I also believe is a Lash Lashazar as well. Baltanov will be that Mazala. Then we're going to have Todor Nedelev, who's still not very good, a 6.6 .6 average rating over the last five games. On that right-hand side, on the left is going to be Antonio Vutov and Stanislav Shopov in the middle with Konstantin. It's not Konstantin, it's Christian. Who's Konstantin? Christian Dobrev is going to be our advance forward on the bench. We do have Jude Nike. We also got, uh, we have a Jakob Moda who played really well in the cup game. Yes, it was against a team who are in the third division, but I think he probably needs to get a bit more football. Baltanov's good, so is Moda. So at some point, Moda will be coming on. And today, up against Botev Ratsa, we do see a returning face. A face that we haven't really seen at all. Um, we sold him before we ever played a game. Ebert, the Brazilian, is returning to face his former side, which means he's probably going to score the winning goal. It has been a while since I've played this save. Um, I know for you it probably hasn't been a while at all, but for me it's been a number of days since I last recorded, so I might be a little bit rusty. Early corner for Todor Nedelev. It's claimed easily by Kostov in goal for Vratza. Now, what is the goalkeeper going to do wearing his lovely salmon pink shirt? Kicks straight over the defence. 
What defending was that? Alan Sherry has saved the day, but that defending was absolutely appalling. They do have a corner. Shergui steps up to take it towards the back post. It is headed clear by our player. It's going to be another corner. Shergui once again, this time on that left-hand side. It's cleared not very well. They still have the ball. The whistle's gone. It's a free kick. Good. I'm disappointed that none of our players' ratings went down from that absolute shambolic bit of defending. We're 1-0 up, by the way. Stanislav Shobov, his fifth goal of the season. He's still only 17 years old. He's bloody good for a 17-year-old. Did I mention that? We're 1-0 up, eight minutes on the clock. That goal as well puts us back top of the table. Todor Nedelev with a free kick. Is he going to make it 2-0? He does make it 2-0, his fifth goal of the season. We do seem to score a lot of goals. The problem is, we also concede a reasonable amount of goals as well. We've got positive 13 goal difference. That is absolutely insane. We've dropped down a third place in the table now. Ebert with a throw. Angelov heads down, but Dobrev intercepts the ball. Back to Kotev. Now Todor Nedelev is going to have to run it across. Stanislav Shopov. Vutov. Where is he going to go? Back to whoever that was. It was Shopov. His effort is inches wide of the post. 25 minutes in. Two shots on target. Two goals for us. Looking good value for our money at the moment. Five or six minutes left of the first half to play, and we have stolen the ball away. Baltanov to Stanislav Shopov. Back to Baltanov again. Shopov wants it. No, he doesn't. Kotev gets it instead. Boshnevitz forward to Kotev. Little back heel finds Baltanov. We're passing it around in the middle. Not really going anywhere. Shopov now can run down that left-hand side. Tries to slide a through ball, but doesn't quite manage it. And now, Botev Ratza, a throw on goal, and the effort smashes the bar and actually goes wide. We were very lucky there. We had so much of the ball, didn't do anything with it. We've got a minute now of the first half to play. And Vratza once again with the ball. Rudyka, Shergui, across to Angelov, the booking man. The booking man. That's not how things are said <laughs> at all. They, they are getting some very good opportunities and not actually taking them. Marin, though, lovely control, but a terrible pass. Kotev now, inside his own half. He's going to play the long ball forward to Christian Dobrev in the area. Controls it, goes for goal. It's a save from the goalkeeper. We have a late corner in the first half. Nedelev goes over to take it. It's towards the middle. It's headed clear. It's not clear far enough, though. Nedelev gets the ball back. Crosses in. Baltanov is there. Dobrev's going to get the ball edge of the area. He goes for goal, kind of. I think that might have been a cross. Kostov can easily claim the ball. Half time then. We are 2-0 to the good. I think we should probably have had more goals. We've only had one chance for our striker. And I guess that might have been that last little kick at the end of the, uh, of the half. Just going to get the assistant to do it and carry on. Anike is waiting on the bench to come on and he will be coming on unless Dobrev does something special. Nedlev goes for goal with a free kick and it is wide off the post. 50 minutes on the clock, still 2-0. Marin with the throw to Vutov. These two down that left-hand side, I think are very good footballers for this level. Shopov gets it, now to Kotev. We love passing it around in the middle of the pitch, but not really going anywhere. Nedelev, he tries to cross it in, but kicks it into one of their players. Ebert has got Nedelev for company. Nedelev steals the ball away. Vutov is there, straight at the goalkeeper. It's a great save, and the ball goes off for a throw, and that should have been a goal. And now we're going to do our sub. Dobrev off, Jude Anike on. He's a natural advance forward as well. Still yet to score a goal for us, however. 62 minutes on the clock, and Shopov gets tackled, but Jonathan gets the ball, crosses in, Vutov's there on the volley, and Antonio Vutov, his eighth goal of the season, I believe most of them have, however, come in, uh, I think three of them were in the Bulgarian Cup, weren't they, but he's scoring a lot of goals for a left midfielder, that's pretty impressive. I don't know why I'm somewhat annoyed with the fact that we're only 3-0 up. We've been battering them, 12 shots, 6 on target, 62% or 61% possession, we should have a lot more to show for it. Final 10 minutes, Baltanov is going to be coming off, Jakob Moda is going to be coming on, we've got one more sub to do, what we're going to do, we're going to bring off Shopov for Shopov, the uh, the old, the good old fashioned Shopov switch, I was going to do Nedelev, but I kind of went for the most tired player to come off the pitch, we've still got, what, 8 minutes left to play, and this is a proper highlight, Popadian, maybe, Ganev, Popadian once again, tries to cross it in, he does cross it in, they've hit the bar, and he was offside, so that wasn't really a highlight, was it? This, however, is a highlight. Shopov to Vutov. Moda, he's going to go for goal, is he? Yes, he does. It's deflected. Kotev goes for goal from a long way out, and it is just wide off the post. I think that might be why we have loads of shots, because they're from bloody miles away. Final highlight of the game, then, the full-time whistle goals. It is a 3-0 victory in the Botev derby. I don't... I assume Botev means something in Bulgarian. It's a 3-0 victory, anyway comfortable, should have been more, should have been about five or six, but I'll take it. 
We have moved up in the table, Slavia Sevilla, still yet to lose a game. What did they do this time round? They lost... No, hold on, wait, yes, no, they, they drew 1-1. One, one. There you go. <laughs> Six draws, four wins, zero defeats for Slavia Sofia. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about then. We are in third place in the table, 21 points now on the board. CSK Sofia ahead of us on, I don't know... Why are they ahead of us? I have no idea, because we've scored more goals than they have. We've got better goal difference. Levski, top of the table, 22 points after absolutely battering Sarko Cello. Next up, we welcome Olympiakos to our, not our home stadium, it's not a home stadium at all, to our temporary stadium in the Europa League. Currently, I think we're bottom of that group. We are back and it is time for the Olympiakos match and wonderful. They are in excellent form, I imagine. Those are probably just European matches, aren't they? Panathinaikos, Panathinaikos, the team that I can't pronounce, they're not even European matches, are they? Have I got the Greek League on? Why do I have the Greek League on? Hold on. I don't have the Greek League on, but I might have them on as like a background league. That probably is what's going on. The starting lineup we're going to go for the Olympiakos match then is basically the same as the last match. So Alan Cherry in goal, Jonathan Terziev, Boschnovitz and Lazar Marin as that back four. Thomas Sifka will come in to the midfield alongside Jakob Moda. That's basically all the changes. It's going to be Sifka and Moda in the middle. It's going to be then be Nedlev, Shopov, Vutov as the attacking midfielders with Christian Dobrev as that striker. I do not have Jude and Ike on the bench because he was signed after the Europa League registra registration stuff happened. So Fodadore has returned to the bench for this match. And good news for me, I don't think there's a huge amount of difficult names. I mean, obviously this guy, this guy is, is Christ Christodopoulos, do 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 yep, him, he's, he's, not, he's not that good. He's okay, he's better than most of my players. I'm going to struggle big time trying to say any of their names, aren't I? Even the easy ones I'm going to struggle with. Completely forgot to check where we were in the group. I think we're bottom because I believe we lost and Olympiakos and... No, Olympiakos beat the other team, so we're not bottom. We're joint bottom with the team from Turkey, who I can't pronounce. Corner for Olympiakos and it's saved from Sherry, but the second attempt goes in from Vukovic. We're 1-0 down against Olympiakos and I think this is probably going to be the story of our Europa League. We're not going to be going through... And with that in mind, it probably means the next episode will be the final Europa League group game. I've already called off our Europa League hopes after literally one match in 10 minutes, but I think it's probably accurate. 16 minutes on the clock. Jonathan's throw doesn't find Shopov. We do get the ball back, though. Jonathan can run down that right-hand side. He's got loads of space to run into for some reason. Holds up play. Finds Stanislav Shopov. He runs forward with the ball, and Stanislav Shopov has made it 1-1. The European dream's back on track. If we can pick up a victory here, we could go through. This is genuinely, this is a, a massive decider for me. Jonathan Denedelev, back to Jonathan. He can cross it in. Not a good cross. It's cleared. Terziev gets it now. Finds Shopov to Todor Nedelev. Inside once again to Shopov. Cross filled ball. Finds Lazar Marin. It's a weird ball, but a good ball nonetheless. Cross in. Shopov is there once again. And it's not Shopov, it's Dobrev. Christian Dobrev scored. He doesn't do that often. It's 2 1. We're back in the lead. I say back in the lead. We're in the lead. And we're getting three points if things stay this way. And we're possibly second in the group, maybe, ahead of Olympiakos. That was Shopov. That was definitely Shopov's goal. There was no way Dobrev can claim that. Throw on for Marin on the left-hand side. Moda back to Marin. Crosses in early. Nedlev's got loads of space, but it's behind him. Somehow, we've put the ball in the back of the net. Antonio Vutov on 35 minutes has made it 3-1. We're the best team in Europe. Fact. We've had four shots on target and three of them have gone in. I don't know what's going on. Fortunus with a cross in for Olympiakos. Diaz is there, but his head is over the bar. It's going to be 3-1 at half time. It's been an exciting first 45 minutes in Bulgaria. Hopefully the second half is very boring and it stays 3-1. Well, I think my cautiousness after the first seven minutes probably seems unwarranted now, doesn't it? We went 1-0 down. We're now 3-1 up. I'd like to score five. Let's get two more in the second half. Should be easy. Probably a bigger deal about winning this match is we get about £600,000, I think, if we win a Europa League group game. Corner for Nedelev. Sifka's there and it is easily saved by the goalkeeper. I say saved, claimed by the goalkeeper. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Kicks it long over the halfway line, but Jonathan is going to easily claim that. The right back, he's going to smash the ball forward. Why did he do that? Now Fortunus gets the ball, finds Maddie in the middle. He's going to run forward to Diaz in the area. Who goes for goal? And Alan Sherry, the Albanian, makes a save. It's going to be a corner for Olympiakos, which we are going to see. Fortunus steps up to take it. It's deep. Moda 
doesn't get the ball, but it's a free kick anyway. I don't know what happened, but I don't care. 65 minutes on the clock. I'm going to do a change more to kind of just change things about. Going to take off Shopov, bring in on Shopov. He's knackered. I mean, I know he's playing well, but he's knackered. I can't risk him. He's he's basically, I'd say he's better than Todor Nedelev. In terms of performances, he's better than Nedelev. So I kind of want to save him. We've got 22 minutes to play, and Olympiakos do have the ball. Plays it across. Igor Karloka. Can he cross it in? He does cross it in towards the back post. Sherry saves it, and the substitute gets tackled by Jonathan, who's going to hopefully keep it in play. Final 10 minutes. Boschnowitz forward to Lazar Marin. Back to Boschnowitz. Marin once again. Back to Boschnowitz. Stop passing it between the pair of you. Long ball upfield. Dobrev's going to run onto that. Is he going to get his second of the game? Christian Dobrev has got his second of the game. This one he can actually claim as his. It is 4-1 against Olympiakos with nine minutes left on the clock. I'm going to do some time-wasting subs now. And Dobrev, despite the fact that he's on a hat-trick, might be coming off. Or not. There's a highlight almost straight away after the goal. The ball goes straight off the pitch for a throw-on. Was that, that wasn't a highlight. Why did you show us that? We're top of the bloody group. Hold on, how are we top of the group? Fodor is coming on for Dobrev. It's probably going to annoy Dobrev a lot. I'm tempted. Actually, no, you can stay on the pitch. Get your hat trick in the Europa League. We're going to look at basically condition here. So Vutov off. We don't have any left midfielders. Nedlev off then for Klups. We're also going to do Marin off for Christian Dimitrov. Who can't really play as a left back, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Maybe. We're going to put Terziev there. Terziev, Terziev might be better. I mean, he's he's still he's certainly not a left back, but he might be better because he can basically he can play defensive midfield. That's my thoughts. Hold on, change of plan. Sifka, that I don't even know what I'm doing. Just play that. Sifka's now gone as a left back. Three minutes of injury time. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything apart from this corner. It's towards the back post. Sherry can hold on to the ball. 30 seconds left to play. The team from Turkey are 2-0 up against Rapid Vienna, which means after two group games, everyone in the group is on three points. We are top of that group because we've scored a buttload of goals against Botev Plovdiv. We scored two against Rapid Vienna as well. The full-time whistle is about to go. It is a 4-1 victory in the Europa League. Where did that performance come from? I'm not complaining, but why do you not do that every time we play? To be fair, they do that most times we play, but occasionally, against Ludogorets, we don't do so well. So the 4-1 victory for us, the 2-0 victory for Basak here, here, maybe, has meant that we do go top of our group, which I'm not quite sure how that's happened. I'm not going to complain. We are top of the group. There you can see it. With Basak Spear. there's no P in it. I don't know why that came out. Uh, yeah, we're all on three points. We also pick up £500,000 as well for that victory. This has, uh, has confused me. We've won 9-3 on aggregate. I'm not quite sure how we've managed to do that, but we're through against Karabag for our under-19s. Good job, under-19s. Dobrev also finally scores after 15 hours when he scored in the 27th minute. He didn't score. It was Stanislav Shopov, and it just came off his arse. Well then, that was quite a goal fest of an episode. Seven goals scored by us. One conceded against Olympiakos. We are third in the table, top of our Europa League group. Things are actually going really well for us at Botev Plovdiv. Wasn't expecting to say that. Next episode then, I think what we're probably going to have to do, and I don't really want to do it, but we're going to have to go for Dunav. And uh, Bashak is... Uh, I'm going to have to find out how to say him, aren't I? I'm going to have to do it. Because I think by that point, we can work out whether we're going to be going through. I mean, that's not how maths works, but I think we'll have a better idea. Because if we lose there, and we lose there... Against Rapid Vienna and Olympiakos. Doesn't really matter, does it? That is going to do it then for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll be back next time for some Bulgarian League action and a little bit of Europa League action as well.